So today's the day after Thanksgiving and I've got a story to share. I've, I have two other videos that should be out before this one. I've been a little bit lazy, but I wanna share this one right now because it's fresh on my mind. So I got here three days ago at night and I was given the rundown of the place, uh, what's mine, what's his, what to touch, what not to touch. We went into the kitchen. He has a little section for me. It's got a bowl, a plate, spoon, everything like that. My host is a really nice guy. He speaks Hebrew and French. His English is not super good. Uh, but he was able to tell me, my stuff, no touch. Your stuff, it's fine. And so I said, okay. And so I was super tired, went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and I was hungry. So I went to the store. I bought some potatoes, eggs, stuff like that. I got back. He was at work. I looked through my things, and I didn't have a knife. I thought, oh, snap. I knew that I wasn't supposed to go through his stuff, but I was like, it's just a knife. He probably forgot to set out a knife for me. So I went, and I found a knife. Not super sharp, but it was like the only knife he had. And I used it to cut my potatoes, cook my food and everything like that. I washed it and I put it out to dry and then I left. When I got back at night, he was waiting for me and he had the knife. He said, I have a question. Did I tell you not to touch my things? And I was like, oh snap. <laughs> he said, this is my knife. I said, I'm so sorry. I just didn't have a knife and I needed to cut my potatoes. And he was like, you do have a knife. And I looked over there and I had a butter knife. And I was like, dude, I was trying to cut potatoes. I'm not gonna use a butter knife. He explained to me that this knife is only for dairy products. It's basically just to cut cheese. <laughs> Anyways, um, so he forgave me. Luckily, I did not cut any meat with it. I would have had to throw the knife away. So anyways, that's the knife story. And then the next day was Thanksgiving. They don't really celebrate that here, but I wanted to celebrate it, so I went and Turkey is hard to find, so I just bought chicken. Chicken's fine. So there's this Jewish tradition called kosher. Kosher means the meat is fine as long as the animal chews its cud and has split hooves. So cows are fine, goats are fine, pigs are not fine, uh, rabbits, can't eat rabbits. All poultry is fine, uh, turkey, chicken, whatever like that. You just can't eat predatory birds. I don't know why anybody would want to eat a vulture. Eggs are fine, they just have to be inspected by a rabbi that they don't have blood spots because blood spots aren't kosher. Anyways, then there's this other rule, and it says, thou shalt not cook a calf in the milk of its mother. So Jewish tradition doesn't allow people to serve dairy and meat on the same plate, uh, or even pretty much like on the same day. Uh, so restaurants don't have cheese on their burgers. Pizza is all vegetarian. Restaurants have separate silverware. One set is for meals with meat, and the other set is for meals that have dairy in it. And most people have that too. Uh, this guy has that. I didn't really understand that. On his Airbnb website, he had typed vegetarian, kosher and vegetarian food only. But he meant to say kosher vegetarian food only. And that pretty much is just trying to say that your eggs need to be inspected by a rabbi because all fruits and vegetables are kosher anyways. So you don't really need to say kosher vegetarian food. You can just say vegetarian food. I didn't understand that obviously because it says kosher and vegetarian. So I thought, okay, chicken is cold. Chicken is kosher, so that's fine. So for my Thanksgiving dinner, I went out and I bought um, some chicken, brought it home, put it in the fridge. He was at work again. On Thanksgiving, I decided to ask him and not get in trouble again. And I said, um, excuse me, I went and bought some chicken yesterday. And how do you want me to cook it? I, is there a certain pan that I can't use? And he just looks at me, he's like, what? He's like, I bought chicken yesterday. And he says, chicken? You bought chicken? And I said, yeah. He opens up the fridge and sees my chicken in the back. I had kind of put it in the back. He's just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> And uh, I was just like, what, what happened? And he said, no, no meat, no meat. I said, no, but chicken's kosher, right? And I guess you have to have separate fridges. Meat and dairy can't be kept in the same fridge. False, that's actually not true. You can keep it in the same fridge. I've been doing my research. Certain steps need to be taken in order to put them both in the same fridge. They need separate shelves 
You have to make sure that nothing can leak on anything. One thing can't be above the other thing. Even if there aren't any holes, it can't be above it. I didn't follow any of those steps. That's why it was a problem. Anyways, I defiled this fridge and <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to either throw my chicken away or I have a friend here that lives close. I'm gonna ask if I can keep it in his fridge. I could just tell that he was about to kill me. Just, I bought milk and chicken and that is a big no now. So <sighs> that was my Thanksgiving. Hope yours went a lot better than mine. I defiled a Jewish man's fridge and I feel really bad about it. Um, so be grateful for the things that you have. Uh, be grateful for your family. I miss my family today and I hope that they're doing good. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Here are the defiled items. I've got two more weeks here. I hope he's okay. Thanksgiving. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. 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 Yeah, thanks, you.